since times immemorial a number of things and practices and sometimes even contradictory practices are being observed all over the world in the name of spirituality therefore it is of primary importance to understand as to what spirituality is and what it is not in fact spirituality means an eagerness and effort to understand and to know what your self is in other words it is trying to understand as to who i am or who am i at the very outset it would be quite important to express that there is something which cannot be done by somebody else for you only you will have to do it for yourself and ultimately i would also like to express that those who have known themselves those who have an experience of their being they have been so eloquently telling that understanding your own self or knowing thyself is something which cannot be done by you because it is simply a happening it is a happening of enlightenment it cannot be done it just happens you can simply create conditions for enlightenment to happen you can simply create conditions for realization of yourself to happen secondly i would also like to express that spirituality means searching and seeking the truth of life but here it is again very important to understand that how to search and how to find the truth there are no directions on the basis of which you can move on then how to pursue this search for the truth on this point i have a very simple advice for you just clean yourself of all that is untrue within you clean yourself of all that is insincere within yourself once you have done this the truth will automatically come to your experience it is just like you clear off the soil the pebbles and the stones from the ground and the spring of water wells up from within the earth once you have cleaned off yourself from within of all the rubbish that had been accumulating since the time you were born in that innocence in that silence the guest comes the truth dawns layers and layers of conditioning has accumulated within yourself since the time you were born layers and layers of borrowed knowledge has been stored inside you you have just to throw it out and then in that emptiness great music arises and that becomes the dawn of truth that becomes the experience of your own authentic being always remember the truth can never be obtained from the scriptures it can never be obtained from the gurus and it can be never obtained from anything outside it can only be obtained from within your own self and for this you will have to enter into your own self and the only way to be with your own self is to throw away all that rubbish which is unauthentic and to be with your own authentic self in aloneness moreover always remember truth cannot be thought it cannot be obtained or experienced through intellect because you cannot think of something which you do not know and for which you have no other means to know by thinking through the intellect you can never obtain it it can be obtained only through your intuition and intuition happens only when the thinking stops when the thinking is no more when the state of no mind happens then the intelligence or the intuition wells up some people treat the visions of rama krishna 
are Christ to be the spiritual visions. They also treat it as spiritual activity or attainment. But here I want to tell you, these are only mental and psychological visions. They have nothing to do with spirituality and they are caused by self-hypnosis. As such, they cannot be treated something spiritual. Similarly, spirituality does not mean to follow certain specific dogmas, creeds or rituals of temples, mosques or churches. The recitation of Gita, Quran or Bible also cannot be termed as spirituality because it has nothing to do with the realization of your own self. And I have to tell you, spirituality means being in relationship with this whole existence without any mediator or without any mediation. It is being in harmony with your being. It is being in joy with your own being. And in fact, spirituality is a communion with the whole existence. It is not a head trip. It is a dialogue from heart to heart. And ultimately, it becomes a dialogue from being to being. Thank you.